Hey everybody, Kitty Sapphire here and welcome to Kitty Reacts. How's everybody doing on this wonderful but dreary, rainy, and humid day? I don't know about you, but I'm really, really tired from a long, long day at work. But um, I saw this online that there is going to be a Pokemon Nintendo Direct and you know what that means, so I needed to basically get some time to actually do this. You know, Pokemon is like my favorite, one of my favorite top games. Even I have my darling little Espeon that I got for my birthday to help me out on what's going on. Um, apparently they're doing some updates regarding the Crown Tundra. Now, uh, I have my own personal reserves of how the Isle of Armor was. So, um, I'm thinking about instead of doing it in my reaction and actually talk about my full extent of my feelings towards that DLC, I'm going to probably do that on a Friday where um, I can go into a huge detail, sort of like a personal rant of how I felt about the Isle of Armor. Trust me, there's a lot to go through. Or not. Anyway, regardless, um, I'm really excited for this. I'm really curious of what they have in store for Crown Tundra. And it seems like a lot of people were just been talking about it. And I just wanted to basically throw my hat in the ring and see what they're cooking. Hopefully, hopefully there's a new evolution. I don't know, but we'll see. So let's get started, shall we? Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'd like to present some new information on the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. <laughs> okay. Let's hear more about the Ooh, Pokemon so. Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Please have a look at this trailer. Okay. Okay, stuff that we've seen before. <laughs> Leon. The Isle of Armor. So I, I haven't got a chance to evolve my Kung Fu, just to let you know. Wow. It's beautiful, the Crown Tundra. What the? Beautiful. Oh, Nidal King. Oh, Dragonite! And Articuno! Okay, we have all the legendaries coming out. Leon, of course. A star tournament. Oh god, Clara. I guess it's a free-for-all, huh? Oh, wow. You got a lot of... Oh, so Sokole! Of course. And then you have the Galarian. Hey, Absol! So what did you think? Let's take a closer look at the new adventures awaiting you in the Galar region's Crown Tundra. In the Crown Tundra, the second area unlocked by your expansion pass, you'll explore a snow-swept expanse. It's beautiful, by the way. faces and new adventures. Dragonite! There, you'll meet Peony, who will put you in charge as his expedition chief. Your investigations will take you across snow-covered hills and into a Pokemon den. 
where you'll reach depths beyond those that Max Freeze Battles have taken you to previously. But that's not all that awaits you in the Crown Tundra. Lots of legendary Pokémon call the area home, too. It looks like your adventures in this wintry land will give you an opportunity to obtain every legendary Pokémon that's appeared in the main series of Pokémon games so far. Many of those legendary Pokémon seem to dwell deep inside a special layer where Dynamax Pokémon are said to lurk, the same layer you can explore during Dynamax Adventures. Hmm. Team up with three other trainers to explore these caves. Battling wild Dynamax Pokémon as you make your way into the depths. And there's more. After adventuring in the Crown Tundra, you'll have the opportunity to form a dream team with some of the other trainers you've met in the Galar region. Oh dear. Red Hot Battles in the new Galarian Star Tournament. You'll be able to pick a partner from among trainers you've met in Pokémon Sword or Pokémon Shield. And the game's respective expansion passes. Depending on who you team up with and who you face in battle, you might glimpse new sides of these familiar friends and foes that you didn't see on your path to becoming champion. I'm not partnering up with Avery. Hope you'll enjoy your new adventures in the Crown Tundra. You'll be able to start exploring part two of the expansion passes, the Crown Tundra, on October 22nd. Okay, so that's more, so uh, that's more, sooner. On November 6th, we'll be releasing all-in-one bundle versions of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that include their respective expansion passes. For anyone who hasn't visited the Galar region yet, this will be a great opportunity to come explore. And to celebrate the release of the Crown Tundra, some special Pikachu are on their way to you. <laughs> to get these special Pikachu for yourself, you'll need passwords that will soon be revealed in various places. You can get the password for your first special Pikachu starting right now. Enjoy your ongoing adventures with your new Pikachu friends. Next, we have some news about Pokemon Home. Okay. Which I haven't completed the Pokedex, may I mind you. The long-awaited link between Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home is coming. Finally! I was waiting around for that! Pokemon Go will be able to set off on an adventure in the world of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield by way of Pokemon Home. What's more, if you send a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home, you'll be able to open the mystery box in Pokemon Go. Opening the mystery box will cause the mythical Pokemon Meltan to appear on your map in the app. You'll also oh. receive a mystery gift in Pokemon Home, containing a special Melmetal that is capable of Gigantamaxing. A Melmetal like this hasn't been available until now. Continue your adventures in the Gala region with this special Melmetal and unleash its powerful G-Max move. We're planning to have the link between Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home all set up before the end of 2020. Please stay tuned for more updates. That's all the new information all about that's our it? Games that we have for you today. I do have one last announcement for you, though. Okay. To help commemorate the release of the Crown Tundra, we've made a special music video for you all. This was a team effort between Pokemon and the popular Japanese rock band Bump Up Chicken. So, okay. Things up for today by inviting you to have a look. Please enjoy the video.
love the art style of Boris anime. Hi, honey. <laughs> oh, look at the little yamper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Okay, so you guys want to know, so that was very interesting. Um, there's certain parts that, of course, that I liked, and there's certain parts that were kind of perplexing to me. Well, I am excited for the Crown Chandra overall. I think the layout is just beautiful, but you know, I, I thought this would have a little bit more, um, information regarding the storyline and possibly the other Pokemon, maybe listings of Pokemon besides the legendaries. Also, the fact that I saw a glimpse of of uh, the new evolutionary form for Galarian Slow Slow King, not Slow Bro. I almost got those mixed up. But um, yes, I saw the Galarian version. Little glimpses of Slow King, and it looks very curious and very menacing, if um if I uh, may say. So, um, unfortunately, I did not get any information regarding any new evolutions. I still always hold out for that. That's not a big surprise, you know, me as Moe and all. Um, as far as the actual, uh, transferred between Pokemon Home and Pokemon Go, finally. Because as soon as I purchased Pokemon Home... I was basically looking around for the connection for Pokemon Go, and I was like, did I miss out that opportunity? Was it not available? You know, I was a little concerned because that was one of the reasons why I got Pokemon Home. At first, I wasn't necessarily going to get it, and then I saw the other opportunities of basically um, connecting your Sword and Shield game with Pokemon Go. And I have some pretty stellar Pokemon on my Pokemon Go game. So, you know, this this was huge, extremely huge for that. Um, so there's that. Um, as far as, like I said, a little bit more of the story, the legendaries are very interesting. I do like the Galarian form of the legendary birds, but um, I I'm just curious about how all the other legendaries have not been affected or were the legendary birds originally from Galar? I am not entirely sure. Um, you know, those look very, very interesting. 
Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how much more Pokemon, older Pokemon, are being uh, released into uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Also, the fact that now they have, like, sort of these free-for-all battles, which are very interesting. I'm not partnering up with Avery after having that little tuffle in Isles of Armor. No. No, 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 no. I'm not partnering up with Avery. Sorry. No. So, um, so yeah. Um, so I want to say thank you guys for joining me on Kitty Reacts. I'll go into grand detail about, um, uh, the live stream on Friday regarding my full, um, my full analysis and my full feelings be regarding this new Nintendo Direct as well as my experience of Isles and Isles of Ar- um, Isle of Armor, Isles of Armor, Isle of Armor, um, and any type of future, future aspects or future prospects, sorry, not aspects, future prospects for Pokemon in the future. And also, um, if you guys basically like this video, please comment, please like and subscribe. If there's other videos that you guys want me to take a look at and react to, I am more than happy to look to take your requests or suggestions. Uh, just con just put that at the bottom in the comic set in the comment section. Um, you can also contact me on my social media sites if you guys are looking for updates. Um, and other cool stuff that's going on on my sites, you could try, you definitely can visit Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter account, and more. If you guys want to support my channel, you can also stop by on my Etsy store, as well as my Patreon page. Alright, so I'll see you guys later!